Welcome back inside this post-game edition of Mariners Minute as the Irish Mariners end up tying the Kituwa Kittleers in a final 12 innings by a score of 3-3. to I'm Thomas Zinzer, along with my broadcasting partner, Austin Rooney. And Austin, it was, a pretty, it was a really competitive game this whole inning from start to finish. And we'll look back through the first couple half of the game. You know, starting on the mound, to see was Zane Collins for the Kituwa Kittleers and for the Irish Mariners. It was Thompson Terry. What are your thoughts on the starting pitch for both sides? So let's start with Zane Collins. And Collins was outstanding. He's going to end up being charged with one run over five innings of work. Didn't even deserve that one run. It was a runner on first base to start the top of the sixth inning. And he's going to get charged with that because there was a runner on first with no outs. So really, he didn't even deserve the only run he allowed. And uh, Zane Collins was outstanding. It was exactly what Katua needed. It was a good pitching performance. The pitching, the starting pitching yesterday was really horrendous for Katua. So they come back, they get a really good start from Zane Collins, exactly what they, the doctor ordered. And for the Harwich Mariners, Tom Suteri is an all-star. He's had really good appearances so far this year. Tonight really wasn't his night, I guess. Three earned runs over the course of four and a third innings of work. And Beeline really rescued him. Their runners on the corners with one out. And this is where the Mariners pitching staff came through. It was in the bullpen. They went a total of seven and two thirds innings tonight. Over those seven and two thirds innings, one hit, no walks, no earned runs. It was outstanding from the Harwich Mariners bullpen. They kept the Mariners offense in the game. They put up three runs in the sixth, and that was all the Mariners offense needed. A really, really strong performance from the bullpen, and they kept the Mariners in this game and allowed them to tie and get one point in the standings. And you talk about the bullpen. Bullpen was fantastic, especially Andrew uh, Mizzias, who came on towards the end of that game and struck out six of the nine hitters that he faced in over a course of three. So it really helped the Mariners, especially late in the game, too, after the 10th inning. Well, the Mariners have the opportunity. Now, a couple opportunities. We'll go into that uh, right now. We'll go into the sixth inning where the Mariners were able to play across three runs, let the bases loaded, but then the tenth inning had the bases loaded and one out. Uh, what happened there? Well, let's start with the sixth. The sixth, you know, I don't think you can expect much more in the sixth inning because they'd already put up three runs, and the Mariners hadn't scored a run yet in the game. So I think they'll take the three runs in the sixth and, and not say, okay, well, they could have had the bases loaded. You know, you can always say, you can always wish for better, but, you know, the sixth inning, they got enough done. So that wasn't the issue. The issue was in the 10th inning when the bases are loaded. You have one out and you have a real opportunity to come through. A sack fly will win the game. Of course, the base hit wins the game. And a ground ball to anywhere, a high ground ball, anywhere not first or third, possibly but short or uh, second base, that could also win you the game. So the Mariners needed that. Unfortunately, Gabe Rivera grounded out towards first base. They threw home. And then Gorski gets caught on the pickle. And, a base running error ends up costing them. You know, you never know what happens. Tenth inning, two outs. You know, there maybe the Mariners end up getting a hit and they end up winning the game right there. So it's just an unfortunate turn of events in the bottom of the tenth inning. And the Mariners' offense was in and out all night long. You know, and, and I only think a couple, only one player had more than one hit. That was Andre Lipsius, who had three. And Lipsius continues to hit really, really well at the plate, four times on base this evening. So again, I think Lipsius is hitting the ball well. They'll have to get the rest of the order sort of coming around tomorrow versus Wareham. Hey, you talking about tomorrow, Andre Lipsius had three of the nine hits. Uh, Mariners out hit the Catillers by a nine to seven. So to try to get back on track tomorrow, they're only two points behind Chad for second place in the Eastern Division. We'll take on the Warren game and right back here tomorrow at 6.30. So until then, this is the end of Mariners Minute. I'm Simon Zinzero, my broadcasting partner, Austin Rooney. First pitch tomorrow at 6.30. Pre-game show starts before that at 6.15. And Mariners Minute before the game, we'll see you then.